I want to show you my scripture recording template and explain how I use them. Double click on it. Down here at the bottom there will be a, a PDF that will tell you how to archive and how to export MP3s uh, out of Audacity. So if you want to um, export for a telephone, it will tell you the settings for those MP3s for a higher quality and where and how to archive things and kind of explain where things go in here. In this other folder, book folder template, are templates for every book of the Bible. So here's Genesis. It's sequence number one. So it's the first one. If you double click, go inside it, and you'll see that it has 50 folders for the 50 chapters of Genesis. If you come down, you'll find that Matthew is the sequence order for that is 40. So I'll number that 40. If you come down to the end, you'll see Revelation is 66. A small book like Jude only has one chapter, so it only has one folder in it. This is helpful, so if you want to use these at some time, you can click them, copy it, go into a folder, say that like you want to do it in the distribution and the Audi Bible, because you have to have these folder systems, paste it. And you have the folder system already made for you. It's numbered correctly. It will work correctly. So that's to be able to help you. These folders right here, the originals, is where I put my um, original recordings. If I'm recording an Audacity, I put my original Audacity files here. And I always export original wave. I go into here. These are when I edit my files. I copy them from the originals and put them into here and then I work on them in this folder so I do not mess up my original. My masters I will export from my edit into here. I'll export a wave and, la and the labels. And then from my master I will make copies if I want to make a Audi Bible, a CD image for radio programs, MP3 uh, for Mega Voice or high quality or low quality, or you can create other folders. I just made these kind of as default folders.